this little $10 part could potentially prevent your diesel motor home from moving. Worse yet, this little $10 part could potentially cause your brakes not to work properly on your diesel motor home. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, please like if you like these videos. Today we're going to fix an air leak on my 2014 Thor Motor Coach Palazzo. It's had an air leak now for about, um, I'd say a year or so. And it's been leaking air underneath, close to the air tanks. There's two air tanks on this motorhome. It's got air brakes, it's got uh, air ride suspension, so it's an all air system. So it'll hold air overnight, but that's about it. And both tanks completely leak down. And I'm gonna show you how I fix this air leak. This right here is the old air fitting. It is a 5 8 inch on the airline side, and it is 3 quarter inch on the tank side with threads. So this is the original fitting that's been on this motorhome since 2000, uh, about 2013 when the chassis was manufactured. So it's lasted about 10 years. But the hose was leaking here at the fitting, and so this fitting is no longer any good. It's just going to leak these uh, older plastic slash metal fittings. They go, they go old, and they, uh, I guess, they deteriorate and fail over time. I have decided to replace this fitting with this new brass quick connect fitting. Uh, it already has the thread seal on the threads that go into, screw into the air tank. And it has all brass construction where the plastic or vinyl hose goes into it. So we'll get up under the motorhome right now and I'll show you how to make this repair. All right, we're now up underneath the motorhome and this right here is the hose. Right here, this is the hose that's leaking and the fitting goes in right up there if you can see that so what we're going to actually do is let me put you right here where you can see what's going on the end of this hose right there has a little crease in it i don't know if you can see that there you go right there there's a crease in it where the other um fitting where it was bit into because okay these are quick connects so basically you you push in on the fitting and then you pull the the hose out but it bites into the it bites into the hose, and that, I believe, is where a lot of the uh, leaking of air starts, not to mention a failed fitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a PEX pipe cutter like this, and I'm going to cut just enough off the end because I have, I have plenty of hose here. I'm going to cut just enough off the end and then clean it up and make sure it's straight, and then I will insert the fitting, screw the fitting into the tank up here, and get it where it needs to be, and then I'll push this hose back in. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get busy. All right, so I don't know how much of that you guys saw. Uh, I may have not had the camera in a good, a good place, but as you can tell, that is how much I cut off, and I made a straight cut. And in fact, I think my cut is straighter than the cut that was from the factory. But you can see right here where where my finger's pointing, that is where the crease was in the hose, okay? So that's the piece I cut off. I cut just barely enough off, so I'd make sure, I mean, I have plenty of hose, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't cut too much off. You just want to get right past where that crease is. Okay, so this is what the new hose looks like. It's a straight, clean cut. And it's perfect to go into the new fitting. So let's go ahead and get this thing up here and see if we have any more leaks. Right there. I just want to make sure my camera's on it. This fitting will be tightened with 11 16 inch wrench right here. Let's go ahead and get it started into the tank. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's see here. That right there is the finished repair. Let's see if it holds air. Be back in a minute. All right, everybody. So it's a day after I fixed the uh, air leak in the Palazzo here, and uh, I replaced that fitting yesterday, so I wanted to wait an entire day. I actually spent almost a day and a half in, uh, to see if this motorhome has held air uh, overnight and into the next day. So let's go, let's go check it out. I hope it did. So I cranked it up yesterday. It's getting dark in here. Let me turn the light on. Okay, let's see here. Let's turn this light on. 
Hello, you can see me now. There we go. So I cranked it up yesterday after doing the repair, and it uh, held air and uh, for yesterday. So let's see if uh, let's see if this repair works. So this would be a true test to see if it still held air overnight and into the next day. So here we go. Let's see if it held air. Here's the two air tanks. Uh, my feeling is is that this air tank, which is the primary, will have air in it. I don't think this one will because I have another leak in a pressure safety valve that is uh, was right beside the uh, fitting I replaced yesterday. I think this one's going to be uh, empty. This is the one I'm really wanting to know. So let's turn this key on and see what we got. Here we go. All right. Yes, sir. Can you guys see? I tell you, let me give you all some light. Here you go. Boom. There we go. All right, just as I suspected, the primary air tank has still got almost 150 PSI. Y'all check that out. So that repair was perfect. Now we have to fix this one. Um, that'll probably be another video. Here, this thing's beeping. Let's turn it off. Go ahead and get that turned off. So I might make another video about replacing the pressure safety valve. I gotta find one. I gotta see if I can get that one at Fleet Pride as well. I bought the other brass quick connect fitting from fleet pride so if you guys are looking for these freightliner chassis parts or, or you know truck parts you can try fleet pride um i do find some stuff on amazon but i really i kind of trust fleet pride because they sell freightliner parts and so they sell a lot of truck parts but anyway hope you guys like this video this is the first video i've made since I got to a thousand subscribers. So guys, I really appreciate it. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I try to make these how-to videos and help people save money, especially when they do RV stuff. I've got a bunch of, you know, other just, I don't know, crazy content on YouTube. I've got pet content. I've got car content. I've got obviously the RV content. I've got boating content. So, but guys, I really do appreciate it. So, um, I really don't know what to say. And uh, as you can tell, making these videos, they're, they're not easy. Um, I'm definitely not the type of person to, to make videos, but I really enjoy it and getting the subscribers and knowing that people is at least, you know, if they're not fully watching my content, at least they're clicking through and they're, you know, getting something out of it. So that's really what I'm here for. So guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.